In daily life, many chips smaller than sparrows can be seen everywhere. The inside of sparrows is only the internal organs. The inside of the chip contains dozens of transistors, reaching over 10 billion transistors. The entire chip production process is actually very large and complicated, including chip research and development, chip production, and so on. But the most important thing should be the production of chips, which China's Huawei is probably well aware of. In the process of chip manufacturing, small and sophisticated high-end technology products need the help of various high-end technologies. It is not enough to rely on lithography machines alone, but also requires the help of photoresists. In the field of photoresist, a Chinese company has also made new progress in the field of photoresist in lithography machines. So, how likely is Shanghai Xinyang to succeed in filling the photoresist gap? With the new progress in EUV photoresist, what does it mean for China? Now with this new progress, can China break Japan's monopoly on EUV photoresist? Shanghai Xinyang officially announced the new progress of EUV photoresist. On May 22, 2022, Shanghai Xinyang held a performance briefing. At this briefing, Shanghai Xinyang revealed two good news. The first one is that Shanghai Xinyang has already started the pre-production of EUV photoresist. Research and Development of Exploratory Technologies The main research direction is the basic theory, formation mechanism, performance observation, and so on of EUV photoresist. So, what exactly is EUV photoresist used for? EUV photoresist can transfer the required fine pattern to the substrate through EUV lithography machine through EUV processes such as photochemical reaction and exposure and development. It is not difficult to see from this that EUV lithography machine is still very important, and now Shanghai Xinyang's entry into EUV photoresist is a big move for China. This news is indeed very important. After all, the importance of photoresist is self-evident. If a lithography machine wants to perform lithography accurately, it is inseparable from photoresist. The photoresist can accurately and accurately transfer the required fine pattern to the substrate waiting to be processed through photochemical reaction and photolithography processes such as exposure and development. In my opinion, these two notices from Shanghai Xinyang are actually new progress in photoresist research and development in Shanghai Xinyang. So, what does this new development mean for China? What does the research and development of photoresist mean to China? According to the British Financial Times report on May 23, 2022, in response to China's rush in the photoresist field and its desire to achieve breakthroughs in high-end photoresist, Eric, CEO of Japanese photoresist giant JSR Johnson publicly stated that even if China obtains exact information on the chemical composition of photoresist, it will still be very difficult in terms of purity, precision, and manufacturing. It seems that China's self-developed photoresist seems to be not very optimistic in the world. In the future, once the photoresist has landed, it will give a resounding response to these deteriorating voices. It is not necessarily impossible to further increase China's market influence. In addition, according to the forecast of the International Consulting Agency TechSed in April 2022, the global photoresist market will reach 2.2 billion US dollars in 2022. But due to raw material supply and logistics issues, the price of photoresist may actually rise further. It seems that the price of photoresist is likely to rise in the future, not to mention the highest-end EUV photoresist. If the localization of the highest-end EUV photoresist in China can successfully land and enter the market in the future, then it may not be impossible for China. Bring more economic benefits. Finally, China is actually breaking through the localization of EUV lithography machines. In terms of EUV light sources, 
Professor Tang Chuanxiang of Tsinghua University led a team to successfully land a new particle accelerator, Steady Macro Beam, through SSMB verification. Hertz Coverage to EUV In terms of dual workbench systems, China's Huazhua Jinka has made breakthroughs as early as 2019. In terms of optical lenses, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has developed the first high-energy synchrotron radiation light source equipment in China. Breakthroughs have been made in the three core technologies of EUV lithography. Today, efforts are being made in EUV photoresist. If it succeeds in the future, the landing of domestic EUV lithography machines may be just around the corner. It is very helpful for China to get rid of ASMAR's dependence on high-end chip production equipment. China broke the monopoly of Japan, new chip materials photoresist broke through the blockade. What is the possibility for China to successfully develop photoresist? In fact, the possibility of Shanghai Xinyang's success is still very high. On March 8, 2021, Shanghai Xinyang issued an announcement on the same day, saying that after various active coordination, the ASML 1400 purchased from Ismail was the lithography equipment and dry lithography equipment were delivered smoothly. Just wait for the subsequent debugging and installation, you can put it into use. Shanghai Xinyang further stated that these devices have a very positive impact on accelerating the development of 193 nanometers ARF dry photoresist products. In short, the new development of EUV photoresist in Shanghai Xinyang has an extraordinary impact and significance for China. So, with such new progress in Shanghai Xinyang, can it break Japan's monopoly in the photoresist field? Can the new progress of China's photoresist break the Japanese monopoly? According to relevant authoritative data, Japanese photoresist accounts for 72% of the global photoresist market share, firmly occupying a monopoly position. However, this new development of Shanghai Xinyang may not be able to break the Japanese monopoly. As a result, at about 2 p.m. on March 1, 2022, an explosion and fire occurred at the Asahi Kase Group's Tokai plant in Nabeaka City, Miyazaki Prefecture, Japan. What's more troublesome is that Asahi City Group is also one of the main suppliers of photoresist in the world. Today, Asahi Kase Group still has no news that its development is on the right track. Therefore, the global photoresist production capacity may be greatly reduced, and the photoresist competition pressure of Shanghai Xinyang Semiconductor may also be greatly reduced. In the case of increasing blanks in the consumer market and greatly reduced competition pressure, Shanghai Xinyang may not be able to break Japan's monopoly. In addition, because in July last year, Japan imposed shipment restrictions on South Korea for the export of some display and semiconductor materials. South Korea immediately implemented an import substitution plan, and now South Korea's dependence on Japanese photoresist has dropped to less than 50%. Today, when the photoresist market in Japan is shrinking, Shanghai Xinyang is growing and disappearing, and it may not be able to impact Japan's monopoly in the photoresist field. In short, in the field of photoresist, not only the Chinese Academy of Sciences, but the entry of Shanghai Xinyang is also of great help to the development of domestic photoresist. Once the photoresist achieves independent self-research, it will be very helpful for the development of China's economy, the progress of China's GDP, and China's impact on the world's largest economy in the future. In terms of EUV photoresist, we are very happy to see that China's Shanghai Xinyang Semiconductor has made gratifying new progress, which has a great impact and significance for China's development in the field of EUV photoresist. Looking forward to breaking the Japanese monopoly in the field of EUV photoresist as soon as possible in China in the future, and looking forward to the future, Chinese companies can carry the banner of Made in China in the field of EUV photoresist. Thank you for watching.